Hey guys, this is Juan Zuniga and this is Jensek. And today we're gonna do a comparison of the Ultra Boost versus the Vapor Max. This is gonna be a head to head or a review of both these shoes and the technology behind them. I am by no means a sneakerhead, so everything that I do or everything that I wear is by looks and by comfort and how I feel about them. And we thought about doing this on the TMF channel, but because of the technology behind both these shoes, I thought that this would have been better on this channel. And this review is gonna be completely a biased. I am not an Ultra Boost guy or a Nike guy. I really just wear sneakers, like I said, because I like them. And these being the most popular ones out there, I wanted to see which one I like better and which one was more comfortable for me. And because there's a style aspect in this, I'm gonna bring Jose over, that way he can give a little bit of a side commentary while I'm talking about these shoes. All right, so we're gonna talk about the Boost technology. Boost technology is basically TPU that has been blown up and is made into thousands of small little energy capsules. And this was done by Adidas and one of their partners and a leading chemical company. And now Nike, is made of these air capsules. There's pressurized air inside these tough, flexible bags. This is what makes these shoes comfortable. All right, so we're gonna talk about three different aspects about these shoes. We're gonna talk about the comfort, the looks, and the price. And to me, those are the most important things whenever I'm picking a shoe. So let's start with the comfort. And let's start with the Vapor Max. So I'm gonna just talk from my experience. I bought these Vapor Max just because I liked how they looked. But honestly, it feels like you're walking on trampolines. Like, it, there's a lot of bounce to them. I think he said it better. It feels like you're walking on bouncy cleats. Yeah, as you can see, the Vapor Max are more structured and the flying it is actually not as flexible as the Ultra Boost. Can I say something real quick? I think a, a key point is I, I kind of didn't express myself right. They are comfortable to throw on. I mean, if it still feels like you're wearing a sock, but the feedback the shoe gives you when you take a step, it's just very bouncy. Again, almost like walking on cleats or trampolines. That, that's the best way I can explain it. Yeah, and when you put them on, they do feel harder than the Ultra Boost, and it does feel like you're walking on cleats. The pressurized or the air technology actually is felt on the back. Whenever you actually strike the floor, it absorbs that strike. The air technology is really not felt on the front. They could have actually just removed this and just left it in the back, and it would have felt it the same looked way. It would have like a Nike shock though, which people already say it kind of Maybe. does, so. Maybe, correct. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes with the Ultra Boost, the Prime knit is actually very smooth and very stretchy. So your toes, actually, if you wiggle your toes, it actually they actually feel free compared to the Nike. The Nike feels more constricted. This feels like a sock. Like you're wearing correct a literal, a very thick sock. That's what it feels like. Uh, one thing that I noticed off the bat is that Ultra Boost absorbs your energy a lot better. So when you take a step, it's like you're walking on clouds. Whereas with the Vapor Max, it like bounces you up. This one, it just kind of absorbs it if I don't know if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, this is more smooth. And the Ultra Boost technology is felt throughout the whole shoe. It's not like the Vapor Max where it's just the back and it actually feels more comfortable than the Vapor Max. And the second category is look and let's go back to the Vapor Max. The Vapor Max on the top is very slick on the top but very bulky in the bottom. It actually they actually look like cleats if you look at them. I think they look very futuristic which I like. And what you were saying earlier it has a much more structured design than the Ultra Boost. So that I like. However, one thing that I notice is that when I try to style looks, these are much harder to style. For some reason, I've only been able to wear them successfully with joggers. Jeans and other stuff, it kind of just looks out of place. Whereas right. Ultra Boost, I can wear with almost anything and it looks good. Yeah, they're more sporty, I guess. And I that, and that futuristic look of it actually throws everything off as well. But... Like I said, even though they look so like cleats. A positive I is what you were saying. The futuristic, it's unique. It's unique, it's different. And there, there's something about it that I like about them. Now for the Ultra Boost, they're sleek all around from top to bottom. It's very sleek and very streamlined. And although they're less structured than the Vapor Max, they're really not that bad at all. And like he was saying, these are much more easier to style with any outfit. Yeah, no, like you were saying, these are way easier to style. Honestly, I don't have any negatives when it comes to looks with this. I feel it's a much more balanced shoe, especially what you were saying, the top to the bottom. The bottom of the other ones are very clunky and the top is very structured. But this is a but more this, all around good looking shoe. But this, it's balanced top and bottom, which I, I feel that's what kind of why it also makes it easier to style with outfits. So I don't have any negatives when it comes to styling. Neither do I, I really like them as well. 
but I think I prefer these just for styling over the Vapor Max. And the third and final topic we're gonna talk about is price. And the Ultra Boost, you can get them for about $180 to about $200, depending on the color style that you get. And if there's some special edition version, out of the roof. They're actually very expensive because they're already in the resale market and they're very wanted. And I've seen Ultra Boost go for about six hundred to even a thousand dollars. So they can get very expensive the more unique that they get. And the Vapor Max, you can get them for around the same price of one hundred and ninety bucks. But these don't change; doesn't matter the color or the style. But these are not as coveted as the Ultra Boost, so the markups are not as high. You can actually buy them for one hundred and ninety dollars. I think a key point uh, is also talk about value since both of them technically if you get them for market price they're comparable but these you can wear every single day with almost any outfit these much harder to style so when you talk about value now ultra boost they take the win with all the categories comfort looks and price I give the edge to the Ultra Boost. I actually like them better and they actually feel more comfortable so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video let us know which shoe you prefer on the comments down below. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.